Hey y'all, it's Miss Griffin, and today in our math lesson, we're going to talk about the four most common coins in American currency. That is the quarter, the dime, the nickel, and the penny. And as we'll see, there's some design differences between all of them. Some of them are older and some of them are newer. Coins can last a long time in circulation. There's some coins on this table that are older than I am. And so the designs have changed a little bit over the years, but there's some things that are the same and some things that are different. So before we start counting them, let's take a look at the designs of each of the coins so that we can tell the difference between all of them. These are quarters. The one on the left is older than the one on the right, but they both have pictures of George Washington on them. Backs of older quarters looked like this. They all had an eagle on them and said United States of America, quarter dollar, and e pluribus unum. Backs of the newer quarters, however, look different and have pictures of different monuments and state representation on them. The designs on the dime haven't changed much over the years. All of them have President Franklin Delano Roosevelt on the front. Both designs of the nickel have President Thomas Jefferson on the front, although the pictures are from different perspectives. Both designs of the copper penny have President Abraham Lincoln on the front, though the designs on the back are different. Each of the coins are different from each other. The penny is very obviously different from the other coins because it's a different color. It's copper, so it's made out of a brownish type of metal, while it's the others, most of which are, coin, are uh, coated with nickel nowadays. They're not pure silver, but they're a silver color. They're all also different sizes. The quarter is the biggest of all the coins today. Next would be the nickel. And then the dime and the penny are about the same size, but the dime is a little smaller. Another difference between some of the coins is if you pick up a quarter and you feel along the edge of it, it's got grooves in it, little bumps in it. And if anybody wants any extra credit, tell me how many grooves are in a quarter. Dimes also have grooves on them. Nickels and pennies, however, have smooth edges. Nickels are also thicker than pennies. Now let's think about some of the ways that these coins are the same. Well, the pictures on them are different, but they are all pictures of American presidents. We've got George Washington, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, and Abraham Lincoln on there. All of them were American presidents at some point in our history. And each and every one of these coins is worth money, though the value of these coins are different. Let's go over what, what coins are worth how much. A quarter is worth 25 cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. A nickel is worth 5 cents. And a penny is worth only 1 cent. What this means is that when we're counting our coins, we're going to have to skip count for most of them. For the pennies, we count by ones, so that won't be hard. For the nickels, we count by fives. For the dimes, we count by tens. And for the quarters, we count by twenty-fives. Now, when we count coins, I recommend you sort them into groups and start with the quarters first, then count any dimes, then count any nickels, and then count any pennies. That'll make it easier to count the numbers by. 
Here are some coins. Let's sort them into quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Good. Now we're ready to count them. I've made this chart to sort the coins and also to count by 25s. Now let's get ready to count. 25. Now let's add the dimes. 35. 45. 55. Now let's add the nickels. We count by fives. 60. 65. Now let's add the pennies and count by ones. 66. 67. 68. 69. 70. 71. 72. 73. So here we had 73 cents. Good job. Now let's sort and count these coins. Now you're sorted and ready to count. Remember, let's start with the quarters. 25, 50. Now we're on to the dimes, so we count by 10. 60. Now the nickels, so we count by fives. 65. 70. 75. Now it's pennies, so we count by ones. 76. 77. 78. 79. Good job! This pile had 79 cents. Now, what do we do if one of our coin types is missing? Let's find out. These coins are sorted and ready to go. But look, we've got no dimes. Let's see what happens when we count. 25. 50. 75. Since we have no dimes, we just go straight to the nickels and count by fives. 80. 85. 90. And now the pennies. 91. 92. We have 92 cents. So now you guys know what each coin looks like, how they're the same and different, how much each coin is worth, and how to start counting the coins. Good job! Next time, we're going to start counting values more than a dollar. I hope you guys are doing well. I love each and every one of you. Stay safe. Love always, Miss Griffin.